Hi, I'm Amy. And I'm Stephen. What is QTC interval? The QT interval is how long it takes for the heart to recharge between beats. Normal ranges are 340 to 450 in males and 360 to 460 in females. So what is QT prolongation? Prolonged QT interval is when the heart takes too long to recharge. If it gets above 450 or 460 in males or females, it can be dangerous. Why is it dangerous? Well, it can cause the following symptoms. Dizziness, fainting, palpitations, and even sudden death. If you experience any of these symptoms or have an underlying heart condition, please make sure you are communicating with your doctor. A recent study found that for people on TKI therapy, roughly one third of the patients on average dealt with QT prolongation. Mostly those people on imatinib, nilotinib, or dasatinib. However, sudden death is very, very rare. Monitoring QTC interval. I took my Tisigna pills every day for over eight years. The drug can increase the measurement, which can be dangerous. So to check for that, I had to have a, several EKGs. I had one at diagnosis, one a week after starting the drug, and a third one about three months into taking the drug. What they want to do is make sure that the QT number does not get too large. And if it does, then they would have to withhold the drug. Fortunately for me, it increased a little bit in the beginning, but then it kind of normalized back to what it had been, so it was not a risk. To Cigna and QTC prolongation. This is one of the reasons why if you're on to Cigna, you have to actually fast when you take your drug. Food can increase the presence of the drug in your system. And to protect against the chance of QT prolongation, doctors want you to not take the drug while you're eating so that there's less of a chance for the higher doses to appear in your system. If you'd like more videos about CML and healthy living, please subscribe to our channel. Thank you for watching today. Together, Together we heal. heal.